Right, we're going to do some final trades, but I first want to get to a few questions. Courtney, want to give you one from Rob in New York. Is Citigroup still a buy? Absolutely. I think even after the reporting of earnings, which were mixed, right? So revenue growth, but um, kind of tailing on the earnings side, primarily due to the fact that they put a lot of money aside for potential losses. Um, I like City. I like the global aspects. They're much more global than the other mega cap banks here in the United States. And as we get more things like we did this morning out of Europe coming out with the stimulus package, you're going to see City doing um, much better. And they have the investment banking component that I do firmly believe we're going to continue to see um, activity out of in the second half of the year. Okay, John and Jerry and you, quick. Uh, Joe in Alabama wants to know about Netflix. Scott, this is one while you were out that I uh, thought I had a great one and it ended up being a stinker. I'm still holding long calls and I'm in a call spread in Netflix, but I don't know if I need to invite anybody else into that one yet. <laughs> and Bryn to you from Tom in California. People have been drinking a lot recently. What are your thoughts on Sam Adams? Yep. Uh, Sam Adams has really executed in the very fickle space. You know, they own Truly, they have Hard Cider, they own a kombucha company. And so I think they've really outperformed like a Diageo. So I think they'll continue to execute and they definitely have been rewarded for the good performance.